How's it going, guys? Um, I am bringing you a very, very good video for today. Now, this video I tried to upload uh, about four or five times yesterday, but uh, it's not working. There is a glitch with YouTube. They said they're going to address the issue, but uh, they haven't addressed it as of yet, so there's still something going on. But I'm going to try to redo the video and upload it again and see if it's just something wrong with the current program that I'm using and maybe the problem could be fixed. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, with this video, we're gonna address the whole issue of selling out, dating outside of your race, and staying within your own race. And these are topics that I wanted to talk about for a while. I was gonna make them into three different segments, but I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about them all in one video and just get my thoughts out. Uh, out. So uh, let's just go ahead and start with dating outside of, outside of your race. Now, um, I remember when I said uh, in my other video that I wanted to date outside of my race. Um, and now, when I made that video, uh, I did have some good reasons, but ultimately, it was uh, very biased, and I was generalizing a whole race. Um, and that's wrong. That's wrong. I was very ignorant. That was back in 2010, and I, I didn't even know what I wanted now. It's not about any of that stuff, guys. Um, what it comes down to is it comes down to the individual person. Um, you can't generalize a whole race. Like, you can't say, and I'm African American, so I'm going to go talk about my African American women. You know, you can't say all African American women act a certain way because they're not all a certain way. Um, there's, there's different African American women. There's women who are in punk rock. There's women who are into anime. There's women who are into fashion. There's women who are into drawing. There's women who are into uh, art, artsy stuff, culinary, art school. There's different types of women out there, but you just have to find them. And when you generalize, you know, a whole race off of an assumption or off of who you come in contact with, it becomes kind of biased and it becomes kind of stupid. Um, and, it, and you're just not as, I don't want to say you're not as educated because everyone is educated, but you seem like you don't, like you, you, you've been scorned in a sense, you know, and I'm not going to lie. Um, I was scorned back in the day uh, by a lot of African American women, and that's the re that's not the sole reason why, but that was part of the reason why I wanted to get outside my race. And this is coming from a real person who has, you know, somewhat of a lot of experience uh, with women. So that's probably the reason why. That's not all. That's probably like fifty percent out of the other fifty percent. But that that is part of the reason why people uh, want want to date outside the race because of situations like that. Um, and when you think like that, it makes you just really ignorant. It makes you really, really ignorant because you don't know how a woman is until you truly meet them. You, you know, you could think that dating outside of your race is good, but then when you date outside your race, you could find that there's some other problems with those women because all women have issues and all women have problems. And if you think for one second that dating outside of your race is going to solve your problems just because of the fact that, you know, um, you know, they, they're, they're just a different skin color, then, then they're, you got another thing coming because all women have problems and issues and, and, and you know, things and things, things that they, they need to work out. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's just something that needs to uh, stop. Now, here we go. Now, if you're dating outside of your race because, just because of the simple fact that, um, you know, you just want that ex ex experience or, you know, you just want to... Um, I mean, and, and, and yeah, yeah, if, yeah if, if you just want the experience or you just want to, um, I guess, date outside, I mean, you probably could. I mean, it, it's cool, but I mean, I think the line should be drawn when you generalize a race. But here's the thing. Um, now, this is piggybacking on what I just said. Everybody is entitled to date whoever they want. That's true. That's true. Everybody is entitled to date who they want. But the reasons of why you want to date who you want is the problem with me um if you just want to date a person because of the simple fact of you know hey all black people or all white people or don't don't like me that's why i'm gonna date outside of my race your opinion but your opinion is flawed because see once again you're generalizing a whole group and that's not true for the whole entire group because you haven't met everybody yet so you don't know that you don't know that but let's go ahead and go to the whole selling out thing because this selling out thing is something that's emerging in our society a lot. Um, a lot of people are calling people sellouts because what are they doing? They're generalizing a whole race and they're dating outside of the race. And when you do that, people call you a sellout. 
um, which indicates to the person that um, you think of your own race in a certain derogatory way or derogatory light and you want to date outside of your race because of the fact that you disown your own race um, and that's not that's true for 50% of people 50% of people think this way and the other 50% don't they just probably have a natural attraction or people from other ethnicities have a natural attraction to them and they gravitate more towards uh, those type of people which it's not wrong um, and it's not necessarily right to the people who view it's wrong, if that makes any sense. Um, so that that's an issue that needs to be addressed. Um, and I think that I think that people who consider people sellouts are not all of them are jealous, but I think some of them kind of have some jealousy tendencies too. Because you know we're in 2012, we're not in 1950s, we're not in 1960s. You know slavery is over. Um, you know I think everybody is is, is entitled to marry wherever they want you know there's no rules in the bible or in any other quran or in in buddhist or religion or anything any other of those religions out there saying we cannot date outside of the race it doesn't say that there's no ultimate book that says we need to stay within our own race with any and this is with, and this is with any race you know i think we should date you know outside of our race get to know uh, people and stuff like that um i think that uh you're seeing a lot more interracial uh, friendships and relationships and when you have interracial interracial friendships they lead to relationships and that leads to you know uh, meeting people and it leads to dating and then it leads to uh, having sexual intercourse and that leads to having mixed kids and then that may leads to having um, you know just cool stuff happen and all that so it, it's just cool to see that you know and um, if we take this whole selling concept, the selling out concept to heart, and we, you know, and, and if we just stop trying to, you know, have interracial relationships, it's going to be a sad society, man. I mean, there's nothing more beautiful than seeing uh, different ethnicities dating. Um, I, I, I love seeing that. It's very different. I love also seeing my own race dating, too, but, you know, I'm not being biased here. You know, seeing interracial relationships and I would love you know to date you know um if, if the opportunity presents itself you know I'm not being biased here um I would love to date you know outside of my race as well too you know there's no biases in here you know um every every woman and here's the thing man this, this is kind of off subject every woman on this earth is beautiful no matter what creed color um and no matter what how the person looks like a lot of people I talk to they say you know women are ugly this woman's ugly no Every woman has something beautiful about them. If it's their eyes, their legs, their um, eyebrows, their, ma their mouth, their facial structure, their le legs, I just said their arms. There's every a woman is beautiful, the most beautiful thing in, in the world. Um, and it doesn't matter what, um, how a woman looks. There's, there's always something attractive about a woman. Um, so. Yeah, that, that's it for that. And uh, let's just go on and talk about the last thing, staying within your own community. Um, now, this piggybacks on everything I pretty much said. And when you stay in your own community, um, there's nothing wrong with that either. Like, I know, uh, you know, a lot of African Americans, um, mainly I talk to a lot of them, they say, you know, you want to stay within your race, you want to build our community. True, true. I acknowledge that. I respect that. That's true. But, you know, it's not always the case. Uh, I think, just like I said uh, previously, you know, it comes down to personal uh, preference when dating. Uh, now, you're entitled to date whoever you want. And you can stay in your community if you want to, but you cannot bash someone because they want to date outside of their race. There's, there's nothing uh, wrong with that. And don't judge anyone for that because of the simple fact that they want to date outside of their race. When you have options, uh, and when you are coming up as an adolescent, uh, not only adolescent, but as a young adult, you're going to experience, you're going to fondle, you're going to meet different women from all over the world, especially if you're in the military. Uh, you're going to start meeting people and stuff like that. So this whole idea of staying within your own race, I think it gets, I think it gets disbanded when you become an adult and you start venturing out and you start going to, you know, working in your job field, you're going to start meeting different types of women. And you know, I'm not saying, I'm not trying to advocate here, date outside of your race. I'm not advocating here, stay within your race. But what, I'm saying, what I am saying is you should give every woman a chance. Put every woman on an equal playing field. Um, and, 
Yeah, that's it. Come here, man. 